and no you should stop using castor oil for infusing hi everyone it's coily diaries back with another video today i am talking about my favorite penetrating oils but also delving into the research of what penetrating oils are but also i will be sharing with you some oils that seal the hair um, and i'm doing this video because i wish i knew this earlier but yeah not every oil can be used for everything and as i am learning about my hair a little bit more it's low porosity um if an oil is a sealant for example and i put it on my hair during like a hot oil treatment thing it's it's not going to do much for me so you want to obviously be educated about these things or i want to be educated about these things and be a little bit more intentional about my use of oils and i want to use them at the right times at the right places for the right things you know what i mean so obviously if you're new to my channel please subscribe it helps me a lot um, on this channel and of course be sure to like share this video with someone that might find it helpful and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on two videos every single week without fail <laughs> i've been consistent this year i think and i've got a whole lot of videos lined up that yeah it will be consistent at least for the foreseeable future so that's so exciting um another thing is that if you want to contribute to this channel be sure to do so i will be more than grateful if you can do that however if you can't your presence here is more than enough for me without further ado let's get into this video so i'm going to base a lot of my talk about these oils on a blog or an article called science why hair however the particular article is called oils which ones soak in versus coat the hair so first of all why do you want to know about penetrating oils and you know sealing oils i spoke about this briefly at the beginning but penetrating oils are oils that sort of you want to use more on your days that you're doing like a hot oil treatment if you're doing some sort of a treatment or incorporating it into uh like your dip conditioners you know people that like diys like if you want something to infuse into your hair, you should use more penetrating oils because those will be nourishing to the hair. They will go into the shaft of the hair and do their job. <laughs> and of course, we know that oils have got so many benefits. And this video is not about the benefits of the oils. It's I'm just going to talk about, you know, which ones are penetrating and which ones are sealants. And speaking of sealants, obviously, if you've got more sealing oils, you want to use them, obviously, to seal the hair, to coat the hair, to sort of you know lock in moisture kind of thing so that's the different uses of of these types of oils there are oils that can sort of interlock just depending on the properties of the oil uh and a good example of that oil is avocado oil it's a penetrating oil but it's a little bit on the heavier side so it can do both it can penetrate but also can be used as a sealant and you can combine certain oils etc to see what works best for you however this video is sort of just to give you an idea of what you should be using say for instance for a hot oil treatment or diys um, oil infusions etc versus what you should be using to seal the hair and no you should stop using castor oil for infusing um I don't think there's a lot of research around castor oil but i think we can all agree that it's probably one of the thickest oils out there and it's probably more on the sealant side of things um that's just from what i've seen i use it as a sealant i know people use it on the scalp to grow hair and i have as well in the past however i'm leaning more towards lighter oils now because i'm finding that my scalp likes to breathe um lighter oils work better for me because i like to spritz my hair my uh, scalp a little bit with water and you know the lighter the oil the easier i can re-moisturize sort of thing i'm not saying don't use castor oil or whatever on your scalp or on your hair but i'm sort of saying like if you want something that's really going to infuse castor oil is not the oil you might want to try use something like avocado or other oils that i will discuss in this video 
So just going from this article, there's a whole lot of information in this article on, you know, what particular oils will do for you. For example, it talks about how low porosity hair may do better with blends of uh, penetrating oils. However, what I want to put, bring our focus to is this table. This table sort of lists all sorts of oils and their percentages of, you know, penetrating into the hair and also if the penetration improves with heat, which is an interesting thing. Um, Cause you will know that if you want to infuse like a herbal hot oil treatment, you can pick oils that are not only penetrating, but also that have been shown to penetrate better with heat. You know, that's a really good thing to know. Anyway, the instructions of how to read this table, the first thing is that the top chart, as in the oils in the green, um, they are the oils that have been demonstrated in lab tests to penetrate the hair. So no doubt about it. And then you get to the ones that highlighted it in blue. And these are the oils that have some penetration, you know, not complete and not at the highest level, but they do have some penetrative properties. And these include olive oil, for example. And then number three, at the end of the list, you get uh, oils that do not penetrate the hair you know, based on lab tests. So without further ado, I mean, you can get into the details of why these oils penetrate the hair, but look, I just want to know that they penetrate or they don't, so I can use them appropriately. But if you're a geek and you like to get into things like that, I'll put the the uh, link below so you can read it for yourself. By the way, in this video, I'm just going to talk about some common oils because there's so many oils here, guys. I'll just speak about the ones that we know around the natural hair community a little bit more and you know, maybe they're more accessible as well to us um, and therefore more relevant. So I won't talk about all of them and I'll also share with you guys what are my favorite penetrating ones versus sealants, etc. All right, so coconut oil is top of the list for both penetration and improved penetration with heat. I have stood by coconut oil like, okay, that oil is a great oil. Um, it might not feel great on the hair, but it's a great oil. You can mix it with other oils if you like, but if you want an oil that penetrates the hair, mm, coconut oil does. Um, they've got ukuba butter, sunflower oil, palm kernel oil, um, and triglycerides, and also another one called babasu oil. So these top uh, one, two, three, four, five, six oils are the top of the list when it comes to penetration. So now you know, based on the research, coconut oil is probably the best thing you can do or add to all these DIYs that we do. For me, in this list, I'll just say that coconut oil and maybe babasu would be the ones that I will be trying out. I like to keep my regimen simple as well. So I'm not about to get all the oils, all the penetrating oils in the world, etc. put on my hair like... Yeah, it's not that serious. Anyway, next to um, the blue. So these are oils that have penetrative properties, but it all varies. And it's not like they're the best penetrative oils, maybe 50% or whatever the case, but they come second when it comes to penetrative abilities. And I've got no idea why they have uh, castor oil here. <laughs> Triglycerides are confounding. Draw your own conclusions. My own conclusion is that castor oil is more of a sealant. So I don't know why it's up there. There's not much research around that. Before I continue, I just want to say that you will notice that a lot of things can actually penetrate the hair. The issue is just how much can penetrate at what rate and you know what's required to help it penetrate. Obviously some things just penetrate a little bit like just the head into the door kind of thing so those will probably not be classified as penetrative per se however a lot of things will penetrate at some stage it's just about you know how much gets in you know so the first oil that they've got in the blue these are oils that kind of penetrate but not as good as say coconut oil or babasu the first one is olive oil woohoo um and the next one is avocado oil. They've got a few others there, but then they've got sweet almond oil and um, apricot, argan oil, shea butter featuring, baby! <laughs> Who said shea doesn't penetrate? 
um, yeah, it's not documented where the heat improves the penetration of shea butter, but it looks like it does penetrate to, to a certain extent. By the way, this list in the blue, um, it's going down in progression. So from the top, the top one, as in olive oil, is the most penetrative and the cocoa butter at the bottom is the least penetrative. So you can see the shea is kind of in the middle there. So, you know, people that do DIYs and do their deep conditioning masks and whatnot, you know, shea will penetrate to a certain level, like, yeah. But then they've got grapeseed oil, penetrates a little bit, you know, not too much, but you know, it's, it's down the list so i think grapeseed oil is probably not that penetrative but they have got hemp seed oil and also cocoa butter at the very bottom so cocoa butter don't expect it to penetrate too much and then the last group of oils is the ones that do not penetrate the hair and these are rice bran oil mineral oil and jojoba right so in saying this what are my favorite penetrating oils I would have to say that maybe coconut oil, babasu oil, olive oil, avocado oil, maybe argan oil would be my top five picks given they're more accessible and also more familiar to me. And also they do penetrate the hair to a certain level. Sealing oils, I would say castor oil is a sealant, guys. <laughs> Avocado oil, like I said in the beginning, is one of those oils that's, it penetrates, have very high penetrative power as you can see, but given its thickness, it's got potential to seal as well. So shea butter, I would classify as a sealant as well, and um, maybe cocoa butter as well. Obviously mineral oil, that's grease, you know, you that's a sealant we know that does not penetrate the hair at all you know it's too big to penetrate the hair um and jojoba oil it's strange that jojoba doesn't actually penetrate the hair i wonder yeah that's really interesting um because it's a very light oil i guess you know you kind of assume that it will penetrate the hair and scalp but it's not so that one is is an interesting discovery for me um, I don't know if it works really well as a sealant given that it's light but if you've got like finer hair um, or you know less dense hair and things like that lighter oils might work better for you for sealing. I then went to this website called Hair Growth, hair growth Lab and they actually confirm what I thought is probably most common that coconut oil, avocado, and olive are probably one of the best penetrative oils out there. And then when it comes to sealants, you have got black Jamaican castor oil or any castor oil, and then jojoba oil did feature and grapeseed oil. So in conclusion, for penetration, I would focus on argan oil, coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, and babasu. For sealing the hair, I would focus a lot on jojoba oil, um, avocado oil again, castor oil, shea butter, and grapeseed oil. So I've given you five options for both penetrating and sealing the hair. And some of these oils sort of do both, you know, like the uh, avocado oil does both and shea butter also has some penetrative properties here and there. So. That is that. So next time before you do a DIY, you might want to hold off on the sealing oils and use more penetrative oils. And if you want to do a scalp massage, you might want to go on a more lighter oil, more penetrative oil. Um, if you want to do like a incorporate oils in your deep conditioning, you might want to try more the penetrative oils. Uh, to really get that full nourishment guys. It's really important. And then if you want to seal in moisture, then you lean towards sealants and of course grease. How did I leave grease? Mineral oil. It's a sealant. Absolute bomb. Best sealant out there. So if you really want locked in moisture, especially if you are high porosity, the cuticle is very much open. So to close it and stop that moisture from escaping 
use grease. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned one or two things. Be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.